Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Scorpios. So this is going to be your daily reading guys for your general energies and also for your love energies. Scorpios, let's see what's coming up for your general energies before we move on to your love energies guys. First, let's see what's coming up for your general energies. We have the Serpents, Four of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Wands. So Scorpios, today you may like get into arguments you may like even stay happy in the environment but you may get into arguments that is what i'm getting here with the four of cups someone might like act weird to you or someone really uh be in that weird energy that you cannot tolerate on okay i also see here that you are going to spend your money on too many things you're going to just you are just spending your money too much or people view you as a person who's spending a lot of money on something okay or i see that you are going to really be in that different kind of a vibe like people don't know what you're thinking they don't know what you're up to like in a very mysterious vibe is what i get okay so that is what i'm getting here guys my lovely so something or the other is something or the other you're thinking about something or the other you want to you kind of are like you don't want to be yourselves you are trying to be someone else i don't know why i'm getting that energy but that is what i'm getting with the king of pentacles with the king of pentacles again something is happening in your environment guys you try to save money you try to be this person who's saving whatever you can but still you feel like you cannot do that for a long time you can save it but you can save your money but it's like impossible for you to save your money like forever like you are kind of like spending it as soon as you save it or something like that okay so again with the nine of pentacles you feel like some kind of a change is coming into your life we have a lot of virgo energy guys you might dealing with a virgo you you might even see the sign like somewhere see the virgo sign somewhere okay so that is what i'm getting here guys and with the queen of wands it is just a very distant energy you don't like to be around people or you won't like to communicate uh too much with people around you you will just like to be um, a little bit distant from everyone guys you will not want to talk to people too much that is again another major energy that i'm getting here okay so let's see what's coming up for your love energies now guys so for your love energies i'm using the power of love oracle cards okay so what is coming up for your love energy we have the commitment the release
we have the compassion So with these three cards guys, with the commitment, release and with the compassion, the vibe that I'm getting here is really different. Like you um, may like to be in a specific way, but people don't want you to be that way. It's kind of a vibe, okay? So that is what I'm getting here guys with the compassion again if you can see like you demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love okay so in this situation you might like express your feelings through your actions like for people around you or you might express your feelings with without any filters like if you feel a certain way, you're going to go to that person and tell how you feel about it, okay? And you're going to release all the toxic people from your life. You don't want any more toxicity. You're going to make sure that all these toxic people are gone and you kind of are like staying happy right now because you just want to stay happy is what I get, okay? And all you're going to do, what I'm getting here is you're just going to concentrate on what you like to do and just working towards your goals and whatever you want to do guys that is the major energy that i'm getting you'll be concentrating on what you want to do and what you like to do in the physical reality and you will be like going towards your goals and going towards your dreams and all of that okay so this is what i'm getting here with the compassion with the release and with the commitment someone wants this committed union with you someone wants this committed relationship with you this person really feels like they want to stay with you that is what i'm getting here because we have the commitment here guys which means like this person wants this commitment from you they want this um love relationship with you they want this committed relationship in a sense they want to have this life with you they want to live with you grow old with you all that involves this committed relationship okay because they're done with being with people who kind of take them for granted that done being in that situation right now all they want is they want to stay in this committed relationship and they're kind of working towards staying in a committed relationship is what i get here guys with these cards okay and this person's really like planning for your future like planning for the future with you they're doing whatever they can to kind of like manifest this relationship into a physical reality is what I get here. This person is really planning a lot for this union. They want to manifest this union into a physical reality. They're kind of planning for it. So that is what I'm getting here, guys. This person is planning for this union. They want this union to happen into this physical reality. And they're kind of like really planning for it and working towards it is what I get here. Okay. So this is what I am getting here, guys. I hope you got the overall energies, my lovely Scorpios. This is all I'm getting for you here today. Your lucky color for today is pink and your lucky crystal for today is goldstone. Bye guys. See you all tomorrow.